So a couple couple of points to remember about inequalities. Uh, let's let that load up there. Why oh, that's taking so long? Is if you multiply or divide by a negative. Do you remember what that does to the inequality? Um, flips it. Flips it. So if I give you something like this, negative three x less than or equal to eighteen, and you divide by negative three, what is the new inequality here? Um, it would be flip x uh, is greater than or equal to. Good. And what's the number? Mm. You're welcome to use calculator, not anti-calculator. So wait, three minus or three. You're, divide? you're dividing. You're dividing. Okay. Uh negative six or positive six. Negative, negative six. six. Good. All right. Now, question for you is is negative three greater than or equal to negative six? Is this true? Yes. Or false. Yes, it is. Good. Okay, now this flipping business, it applies to compound inequalities as well. Okay. Okay, so let's say, let's say I gave you this problem here, negative 10 less than or equal to negative 2x less than or equal to eight, okay? How do you undo this negative two in front of the x? Oh, uh, you add two. But it's multiplying. Oh, so you divide two, sorry. By negative two. You divide okay. everything by negative two. Okay. What does that do to these inequalities? Uh, it flips them. Flips them, yeah. Okay. Now, what is negative 10 divided by negative two? Uh, negative, uh, positive five. Good. And eight divided by negative two? Um, negative four. Negative four, good. Now, I'm going to rewrite the original up here. Okay. And I want you to see that it's smaller to larger. Do you agree that negative 10 is smaller than eight? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we have a problem here on the left, on this, in the middle part. Is five a smaller number or is negative four the smaller number? Uh, mm, positive five is the bigger number. That's right. And negative four is the smaller. Yeah. yeah. So the smaller needs to go on the left. So negative four has got to go on the left. Five is going to go on the right. Do you see how this inequality over here with the negative four, it's pointing at the negative four, that little yeah. arrow? So yeah. it has to still be pointing at the negative four. Do you see how this is still pointing at it, still pointing at it there? Mm -hmm. So on the five, the five's got like the mouth side facing it. So that has to similarly be the case there. Do you see that X goes right in the middle? Yeah, there, there's kind of this flow. Okay, there's this flow of like these inequalities always go in the same direction. Yeah, you have to maintain that flow, but you have to have the smaller on the left, the larger on the right. Very important to do that. Okay. All right. So let's try. Let's look at another problem here. See how that might play in. Let's go uh, minus four less than. 2x minus 2 less than, actually, make, make that a negative, less than 6. Okay. So we've got a little bit more going on here inside the innermost inequality. Okay. Would you agree? There's a little bit more going on. There's two negative twos this time. There's negative 2 times x, and then there's subtraction by, by 2. Yeah. How do you undo subtraction by 2? Addition by 2. We talked about you got to do it in all three places, all three sides. You were asking me that before your break. Yep. Okay, all three places. Negative, negative two, four, two. negative four plus two. What does that become? Negative two. Or, yeah, yeah. Yep. Less than negative two x. Less than six plus two. What is that? Uh, eight. Eight. All right. So now you got another negative two though on the inside. How do you undo this negative two? Uh, dividing negative two. Divide by negative two. What does that do to the inequality? Um, flips it. Okay, so it's greater than, greater than. What number goes? What number do you have here? What is negative two divided by negative two? Uh, one. Okay, and what about eight divided by negative two? Um, four. Try again. 
You got a negative here? Oh, negative four. Negative four. Now, which is smaller, one or negative four? Um, one. I mean, negative four. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. Negative four and the one. So this is where you have to flip the direction of the inequality. Like if, if you look back on our previous problem, I know there's red. It went from greater than or greater than to less than or equal to, less than or equal to. You have to do the same thing here. It's greater than or greater than. It becomes less than, less than. Again, that pointy side is pointing out the negative four. Pointy side pointing out the negative four. Open mouth to the one, open mouth to the one. There's your answer. Okay. I'd like to give you one to try here. Any questions though before I throw one in front of you? Uh, not really. No, no. Okay. It's just something. Yeah, I'm just trying to refresh it all because it's been a bit of time. All right, here's one for you to try. Go ahead and work it out and let me know what you come up with. Okay. Uh, can I just do this with you? Sure. Kind of along. Sure. It so uh, first tell divide me. by, or yeah, you would add five. You, you would add five if it if it was so. Th this is when you would add five if it was x minus five. Is that what you have here? Oh no. Okay, so okay. I would divide five then. You would divide if it were like this. So th th this negative goes with it. You divide negative five. Yes. Okay. In all three places. And then so, so tell me what you got on the left here. Years, right? Very good. Yep. And then you would get four greater than uh one. One X. One X, yes, yeah, sorry. And um Less or greater than uh, six, negative six. Negative six, good. It's just like in all the other problems. The issue here is now is that the like, it's like reading something backwards. You wouldn't read something as four greater than or equal to x greater than or equal to negative six. It's awkward. We always read things from smallest to largest typically, especially in the math world. Yeah. Um, so that means you have to reorient this. Okay. Yeah. So what what comes next here? Give me give me some help me out here. Um, then next you divide or no, you would subtract X or four. So we didn't, we didn't do that in any other problem here. Notice in previous problem, you got one greater than X, greater than negative four. Tell me what is going on between this top line and this next, next line. Um, you flip them, you flip them and you move the numbers. Yeah. That's all you, that's all you have to do here. There's no other, it's really no math. It's just changing the way it's presented. Okay. So you you flip the inequalities. And you do negative six less than x. So when I'm asking you to do the problem, what I'm like what I'm hoping is you can go from the first line to the to the last line there. So that's okay. Um let's have let's try have you try another one here. Uh let's try um Minus 3x plus 1 between negative 5 and let's go 16. Okay, so inside in the middle there in that compound part, this is where your focus has to be. Negative 3, what math operation is that making with x? Um, they're wait. squeezed together. Well, I'm confused. Wait. Options are add, subtract, multiply, divide. Oh, oh, sorry, divide. Negative. You would you, you divide you would divide to undo it. I agree. It's but it's multiplication, and this one is is what what do you, what do you have here? You undo with subtraction. So as a reminder, you undo addition and subtraction before 
multiplication and division. Yeah. So are you going to undo the minus three or the plus one first? Uh, the, the plus one. Yes. So you're going to subtract one. Okay. Give me the uh, result here. Um, okay. Negative got six. Good. Less than negative three X. Uh, less than 15. Good. Now, how do you undo multiplication by negative three? Uh, division by negative three. Good. So that's two greater than x, greater than negative five. How do we reorient this? Uh, you flip it, the numbers okay. and the things. Is this what you mean? Yes. Okay. So there's nothing holding you back from trying and completing one on your own. Yeah. Okay, okay. So let's do that here. Let's go uh, minus five X minus one. Let me go uh, 19 and then uh, we'll go. Wait, why do you have two of them together? Uh, Cause I'm tired. <laughs> Sometimes oh. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I, like, I uh, it brain brain them, um, you know, brain works faster than the hand. So I, <laughs> I, uh, yeah. thought through this. Go ahead and try this. If you got some questions, let me know. But uh, I'd like to get your final answer. Okay. You know, what cool. goes in the box there? Got it. And you divide all three numbers, right? You do everything to all three. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just making sure. Okay, I got one uh, less than equal to um, five, negative five. Like this? Uh, yeah. What happened to X? Oh, sorry, five X. Okay. And then um, less than negative four. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, close. Comp I mean, there's there's some good stuff here. Like like, I don't want to be be super negative. Um, but let's look at the previous answers. Was there anything in the middle besides x in your previous answer? Um, no. How about back here? That's, yeah, that's that? what I was kind of confused about. So okay. would it instead be? one less than equal to x less than equal to negative four okay let's take a look let's let's see did you add one to all three as your first step i did so negative five less than or equal to negative five x less than or equal to 20. yeah okay. then you divide everything by negative five what does that do to the inequality um it flips it. So the, the, the hard part is there's like two things going on. You got to flip the inequality and then you got to deal with all the stuff. Well, doesn't it? Oh, and then it flips again. So then it would, I forgot to flip the numbers. So then it would be negative four less than equal to X less than equal to one. Yes. 
Oh my gosh. I flipped the uh, signs again, but I forgot to flip the numbers. Right, right. So, I mean, you could sit here and say, well, it always goes back to the original form. And I mean, that's like a, like it works sometimes. Mm -hmm. Not a good, not a good way to, uh, you know, do things like this. Okay, let's try another one here. We're almost got it here. Let's go. Um, and wait, when's the next uh, lesson I have? Uh, Wednesday at six. Okay. Wednesday at six. Uh, so we got uh, minus four X minus six. Let's go. Um, let's go 18 and then Uh, let's go, sorry, trying to get numbers that work here. Um, negative 12, no, that's no good. Sorry, let's go negative, negative 10. Okay, so you tell me what to do here. What is the first thing to undo in, in the middle? Uh, the first thing is you add six. Add six, it's add six, time. add six, yeah. All right, give me the number on the and left. You would get... Negative four. Okay. Negative four X. Negative four X less than uh, 24. 24. Okay. You finish the problem off from here. Okay. Got it. Next, it would be the final problem would be six less than X less than one. Like this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so so an initial problem I see is that the six is bigger than one and the smaller number is always on the left. Oh, yeah. Now, now it may not be as simple as just flipping it. Did you divide everything by negative four? Yes, I did. Okay, so here's what that does. It flips the inequality, okay? But then you get one, which I agree with. 24 divided by negative four, though, is not six. You got a positive and a negative. Negative six. Negative Sorry. six. And this is this is where the, it's it's like, oh, this is this is wrong. Like, like I don't know if you're the type, you look at, you know, books and they gotta be in the, it's, it's, they gotta be in order. You look at your, your movies, they gotta be in order. Like you should, you've got to look at this and be like, this is wrong. It's got to be smallest to largest. Yeah. So what happens to the inequalities? Uh, it flips. Yes. All right. We do unfortunately have to stop here. I've got another lesson that's at okay. right now. So, uh, yeah. So sorry, we're we're trying to get. I'm, there's some issue with schedule still with me, um, but we got you, got you for six o'clock on Wednesday. Please, uh, you know, send over what you can ahead of time if, if there is anything. Okay, gotcha. uh, there, there should be something new. I mean, even yeah, just there, ask, there say, you know, you know, say, yeah. okay, cool. Well, actually, let me help you out this evening.